Hey guys, welcome to Comic Book Corner Classic. That's right, guys, the channel where me, Spider Slayer, does reviews anywhere from issues from the 90s, later 90s, all the way through to the golden age and older. Um, so welcome to the channel, and today we are doing a Superman review. That's right, guys, a Superman review. And that issue is none other than... Then issue number 500, Back from the Dead. That's right. Um, this was issue number 500, I guess part 11 in um, Superman Coming Back to Life. And um, the story arc's title was Life After Death. Um, this book was made in uh, early June of 1993. Um, I thought this was a nice book. I haven't read too much Superman, believe it or not. I've always been a Marvel guy. Um, while I was in Staten Island, I got a bunch of books from my uncle, and I got two copies of this. One was, two of them were bagged. I opened one, and I decided to read it. Um, even though I don't know too much of what's going on in Superman's history, I did know that he was dead, and then I did know that he came back to life, and that he died by doomsday. Um, so reading this, um, it was a nice story. Um, I definitely um, caught on to it. I didn't feel lost. It was a nice read. The artwork was done nicely. Um, by the way, this book is not worth anything. It's the 90s. Most books are not worth anything. It was worth like 350 dollars now. Um, the pencils were done by Tom Grumet. And... Doug Hazelwood did the inks, and Jerry Ordway did the story, um, but it was a good book. Um, you can see here, this was my copy, and then behind me you see I have the other copy back there still bagged. Um, again, cover very interesting here. It's kind of like this like faded away type of deal, um, but the story takes place basically as Jonathan Kent is... Um, has his heart conditions and he's basically pretty much dead he's flatlined because in the beginning of the issue you see that his lifeline is going up and down and then he, he's dead um, he first starts off as flatline and then he's, he's slowly coming back but his goal in this issue is to bring back um, Superman or Clark and um, he tries very hard but you know, he, he doesn't succeed most of the time. He's taken away by these demons. And they're saying, go to the light, Superman. Go to the light. Go to here. And they're just taking him away. And Superman's falling victim to that. And it's like Jonathan doesn't want to come back to life. Or come back really to the true world until, um, you know, he completes his mission. Um, we got this one guy, I guess, that's fighting crime while Superman is dead. He's kind of some generic looking dude he's called the gangbuster and you see that he tries to you know do this deal with um busting these these two guys that are doing this drug deal but little does he know that um it was a cop that was undercover trying to um solve the case because you can see here he punches him out and then the cop drops his badge so it, it was pretty interesting to see this guy kind of be a failure and he, and he dives into the ocean and um, he's swimming and that's basically most of the way all you see. Um, but Jonathan goes back to his old army days and you see here that he's trying to um, find, which is supposedly an old war friend of his, um, but as he puts the pieces together, he realizes that his journey is to go and find um, his son. So as the issue goes along with some other side stories, which I'm not going to get into, um, <clears throat> we can see that Jonathan keeps searching. He falls into a well. Um, I guess that was back in his childhood days. And his father was supposedly supposed to help him out of this well. And he comes into these demons, more demons. And the demon's name was Blaze. And basically he tells uh, Jonathan Kent, I can get 
your son back or he goes I can help um, I can help them the one who flies uh, but you have to soul sell your soul to the devil and uh, and the person named blaze causes him the air man so uh, he goes hell no and he gets dumped through this well and he's falling into space and um, basically we come across the uh, person called Kimzit and this is nice artwork here I love the way she was drawn and he's going through kind of like time and space and he's seeing through these illusions and things like that and she's telling him to choose the paths wisely and um, as he lands he basically thinks that he sees Krypton and Krypton he finds himself saying well I don't picture Krypton being this way and what happens is you see these demon guys are posing as Kryptonians and they're basically taking Superman away and that's what they're trying to do to really exile him and Jonathan here the whole time is sitting there trying to get his son um, you know Superman obviously to say wake up this is not the path that you have to choose and the demons are basically taking him away and trying to uh, you know play cover-up and as Superman is being dragged away he basically Jonathan Kent saying you know this is not the path this is these are not Kryptonians these are demons these are wrong and Superman finally realizes this and he then punches him in the face and what happens is he takes care of the these demons single-handedly and it's nice to see a little Superman action in this book even though he's dead so they got to find a way to do it in this series um, and what happens is Superman is actually not fond of going back to the living he's kind of afraid he feels that he has to go towards the light but his father is convincing him you have to go you have to go and he's like don't be scared you know go go with me and uh, all of a sudden there's this last ditch effort He's saying that it's his father, and his father says, you know, you'll be damned if you go, um, you know. So what happens is that Jonathan conquers up some construct, a, a shovel or whatnot, and destroys the fake image of Kyle. And what happens is he says, you have to come with me. You have to. Don't be afraid. Let's go. And they go. And they go through, and you can see the lifeline coming up again. It's a little bit more stable. And the next thing we see is that Jonathan Kent wakes up, and he insists that his son is back. His son is back from the dead. Lois, on the meantime, says she has to get out of there. All this talk about Superman and all this thing, bringing back to life, is just wigging her out. And the next thing we see is we see a red blur flying blue by, by the plane. And everyone in the next couple pages is saying, oh my God, Superman's back. We've seen him. He's doing this. He's wrecked my cat. There's all these instances of sightings of Superman. Um, again, the artwork in this book is very solid. I like the paneling. It's, it, the story does flow smoothly. It's very easy for me to understand it. It's a good, good story. Next off, Lois goes, goes to the officer and says, you know what, you gotta open it, you gotta open the coffin, you gotta take me to it and, and see if he's alive. And what happens is he's not there. He's not in the casket. He is away. Um, he is gone. And so this proves that either someone stole him or he's alive. So that's the end of the actual issue story. Next we go on to first sightings. And there's this gang stuff going on. And there's all these other things coming on and see this this girl with these guns and all of a sudden you see this big dude right here and the next thing you see is steel or not steel I forgot this Superman's name is it steel I don't remember um, but the big 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 dude here um, looks like he's gonna be kicking some ass but he's one of the supermen and it says to be con continued in the Man of Steel issue number 22 so that's when that story takes place and I think it's the um, the, next, the major story arc that was taking place through all the Superman books was called The Reign of Superman um, so that looked a pretty, like a pretty interesting story too next we see another guy causing problems and this Superman comes around 
and this is like the super powered like sorcerer superman i don't know which one he was i've seen him but i don't know the details of him and he's coming through and he's going and he's fighting this guy and he just kind of to you know he kind of fries him and then the and he says, oh, the real Superman would never do that. He would just bust me. And then we come to this Superman, the guy with the glasses and the super-powered hands. Um, I like the way this Superman looks. And this one was to be con uh, continued in Action Comics issue number eight or 687. So that's where that would come. And the next thing we saw here is what's being continued in this issue, the next issue here, which was issue 501, which is coming up was we come and we see the first sighting of the second Superboy. And it's the first time that we see him there. Um, and I think the last Superman you come up to is they come up to Superman's um, memory here. And we see his statue. And they say, oh, why'd you burn the plaque? And we see another Superman standing here. And we always see the red eye. And the next thing we see is you see Cyborg Superman. This is the first time you see him. And it says, to be continued in Superman issue 78. And that is the official end of issue number 500 of The Adventures of Superman. So, in my opinion, uh, as a first-time reader of this story, um, it was very, very good. I enjoyed it very much. Um... Hopefully, maybe I can read some of these other issues, maybe pick up some back issues. But you guys, back in the day, in the 90s, what did you think of this story? Um, was it a monumental event for you? Was it boring? What did you think of it? And what did you think of all these new Supermen that were coming around at this time um, in age of Superman? Uh, so guys, leave me your thoughts, leave me your opinions. If you like what you see on Comic Book Corner Classic, please subscribe today. It's a fairly new channel, trying to get it up and running. And if you watch my other channel, Comic Book Corner, uh, you will see all kinds of reviews from modern day issues. So until the next comic book review or classic comic book review, this is Spider, Sliner, Spider Slayer signing off. And thank you for watching Comic Book Corner Classic. Thanks, guys. Bye.